Hi everyone, thanks for watching my online lesson on volume of a prism. So this is an example of a prism that I have here. This is a triangular prism, but prisms can take many different forms. For example, a cuboid is a type of prism, and then also cylinders are prisms as well. But in this video, we're mainly going to be focusing on triangular prisms, um, compound prisms, and trapezium-faced prisms. So this here is a triangular prism. A prism is just a 3D shape that has the same cross section running all the way through the shape. So since this is called a triangular prism, it's giving you a hint there that it is our triangle that runs all the way through the shape. I could draw that triangle anywhere, at any point through the shape. We can almost imagine if I took a slice through this prism, I'd still have this face at the front of it. It'd just be in a different position. So I'm just going to shade in first this, we call it the cross section. I'm going to shade this cross section in first so you can see clearer what I am talking about. So this is my cross section. So to find the volume of this shape, if I find the area of this cross section and then I multiply by its depth, by how far back this 3D shape goes, then I will have its volume. So my first step is going to be to find the area of this triangle. So let's do that first. So area of triangle. So you should know the area of a triangle, I do a half multiplied by its base, and its base here is 15 and then multiplied by its perpendicular height. So this example, it's eight. It's not this side length here. So multiplied by eight, so that is 60. So 60 centimeters squared, because this is just an area at this point. So now to find the volume of the shape, I now multiply my answer to this step by how far back this shape goes, what is its depth or its height or its length. So in this question, it's this 10 centimetres here. So to find the volume of this prism, so I'm just going to put volume of prism, I'm going to take my 60, which is the area of the cross section, and then multiply that by its depth, which in this case is 10. So my answer for the volume of the prism is 600 centimetres cubed. In this example, they've given me the units, so I just need to write 600. Here's a second example. So this just says work out the volume of the prism. So this time I can see I've got this sort of L shape here at the front, this compound shape made out of rectangles. That is the cross-sectional area that I will need to find that runs all the way through the shape. So I'm just going to shade that in as before so we can see clearer what we're finding the area of. So that's my cross-section. I need to find the area of this before I can find the volume of the prism. So I can do this by splitting it into two rectangles. I could split it into this one here and this one or I could split it going across instead, so find the area of this rectangle and then this smaller one here. Or the third way of doing it is to find the area of the complete rectangle that's here and then take away the area of the missing rectangle. Any one of these three ways is fine. I'm going to choose to split it going down, but you should get the same answer no matter which method you choose. So area of, and you could call it um, the L shape or area of cross section. So the area of the cross section is, and using my method, I'm going to do the area of this first rectangle, which is 5 times 7. So 5 times 7. And then I'm going to add that on to the area of my second rectangle, which is four by, and this length here is six, because the whole length along is 11. This bit here is five, so this must be six. So my second rectangle is four 
times 6. So the area of my cross section is 35, add 24, which is 59 centimetres squared. So just like before, I now have to multiply this by how far back it goes, by its depth. This time its depth is 20. So I'm going to find the volume of this prism. by doing 59 multiplied by 20 which is 1180 centimeters cubed and again they've given me units in this example so I can just write 1180 as my answer Here's two very similar questions for you to try. You can pause the video and then unpause when you're ready to see the solutions. Here's the solutions. So in this first one, you should have got that the area of the triangle was six centimeters squared. So the volume of the prism is six times seven, which is 42. In this one, they didn't give you the units on the answer line, so there's probably a mark for units, so make sure you're putting centimetres cubed here. In this second example, I chose to split my shape going down again, so I did 4 multiplied by 7 and 2 multiplied by 5. If you did it a different way, that's absolutely fine, but you should have got that the area of the L shape or the area of the cross section is 38, which means the volume of my prism is 38 times 10, which is 380 centimetres cubed. I have picked out one more question for you to have a go at. This is a trapezoidal prism or a trapezium faced prism. So we have to find the area of the trapezium first and then multiply it by its depth. This is considered slightly harder just because you're expected to know the formula for finding the area of the trapezium at the front first. So pause the video and then unpause when you're ready to see the solution. Here's a solution. So the area of a trapezium, we add together the two parallel sides, which is this six and this eight and we multiply them by a half and the height, and the height in this case is 5. So it's a half multiplied by 14 multiplied by 5, which is 35. So the volume of the prism is 35 multiplied by the 20, which is its depth, so it's 700 centimetres cubed. Again, they didn't give you the units here, so make sure you include units if they don't give you them. Thank you for watching.